Okay, welcome to this video, which is basically a type of year in review for Philosophy Portal. I'm titling it The Future of Philosophy Portal. I'm hoping to go into a little bit about um, the history, the context of Philosophy Portal, and the history of my development. Um, also, sort of, you know, basically the way it's come to dominate my 2022 as a type of year in review. And also give some context on ultimately where where I think Philosophy Portal is going and um, what I hope for its future. So um, if you're interested in that, tune in, join in. Um, so to start, you know, the formal birth of Philosophy Portal was November 2021 when I launched the Phenomenology of Spirit course. And I'll go into a little bit more about why I launched with the Phenomenology of Spirit course and what I think that foundation stone represents for the logical development of philosophy portal as a whole. But first, I want to give a little bit more background on myself and, you know, how I came to the point where I was launching something like philosophy portal. So I finished my doctorate in 2019 uh, in an interdisciplinary philosophy department under the thesis Global Brain Singularity, and that doctorate can be found online. Um, and uh, actually well, can be accessed, my dissertation defense can be accessed on Philosophy Portal's website. And, you know, the logic of the global brain singularity was basically like a 10-year culmination of an interest in the topic of technological singularity um, and the relationship between humans and technology, basically. Um, and the deeper and deeper I went into the relationship between humans and technology, the more I realized, well, we need to go really deep into philosophy. And um, in sort of coming to that realization, at the same time, I sort of also thought that the university system was not opening or allowing the space for what I would call truthful competition. And it was also disconnected from subjective becoming or real, you know, the real of subjective becoming. So, you know, and what I mean by that specifically is that I always had the intuition when I went into the university that the higher I go up in the university system, the closer I would be getting to truthful discussion, deeper discussion about the truth. And to me, the opposite was the case. The higher I went up in the university system, the closer I got to bureaucratic, you know, discussions and, you know, egoic battles and, uh, you know, basically superficiality or what I perceive to be superficiality. And so, you know, I, I didn't really think that that was the place really to continue unfolding my philosophical journey. And at the same time, I had developed a deep interest in Zizekian philosophy, which also didn't necessarily lend itself to institutional, you know, advancement, let's say. But nevertheless, Zizek's philosophy had become central to me and had become sort of a, a part of my truth. And um, some core papers I published during my doctorate that sort of represent my not only interest in Zizekian philosophy, but actual engagement with Zizekian philosophy include um, a paper called Global Commons in the Global Brain from 2017, Cosmic Evolutionary Philosophy and a Dialectical Approach to Technological Singularity from 2018, uh, and a reflective note for dialectical thinkers also from 2018. And there's been more papers since then, and they can all be found at philosophyportal.online slash about Cadell. Um, just gives you a sense of sort of my background ac academically, intellectually, and where I've come from. So like I said, to me, the core was, was Zizek. And I knew Zizek's core was a combination of Hegelian phenomenology and logic. So that represents sort of the um, reason why, you know, the underlying reason why philosophy portals foundations start with Hegel's phenomenology and in 2023, which I'll get into more Hegel's logic. Um, the culmination of the course on phenomenology of spirit also includes a book, Enter the Alien. And this has sort of become a foundation stone for philosophy portal that when I teach, I don't just want to teach a certain philosopher or certain literature, but I also want to create the conditions of possibility where students can create themselves and find their own philosophical voice and participate in the philosophical sort of literature and, 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 and you know, project. And um, in, in this, you know, sort of uh, experiment, I was positively overwhelmed with the level of engagement, the motivation, the heart, 
uh, in the students and um, the quality of the work that came out. And um, well, that can be found in, in Enter the Alien, which can be found on uh, Philosophy Portal's website. And I think it um, is also a unique book. You know, it's it's a book that is a communal collective project of working through the phenomenology of spirit for X number of months and, um, you know, offers itself to a contemporary analysis of um, of many, many, many uh, phenomena today. Now, the second course, I also taught a course on Nietzsche's Thus Spoke Zarathustra. Thus Spoke Zarathustra is a fantastic book, and I highly recommend that everyone at least encounter it once in their life. Um, and the reasoning behind teaching Nietzsche's Thus Spoke Zarathustra is not only because that book had a profound impact on me, but also um, it was an offer to study one of philosophy's own post, what I call post Hegelian excesses. And uh, that's how I frame teaching. Uh, Nietzsche's Thus Spoke Zarathustra throughout the course, and um, also is connected with a second with a second book, uh, which you can look out for in 2023. I'm really excited to release that. Uh, and the tentative title is Abyssal Arrows, focused on spiritual leadership. I think Thus Spoke Zarathustra is a fantastic book to investigate leadership, sp specifically spiritual leadership. And that is a topic that is going to become increasingly important in the 21st century, I believe. And, and um, you know, the title of Arrows points towards a positivization of negativity, you know, leading in the darkness um, and, uh, you know, investigating all of the sort of ways in which the character of Zarathustra and the myth of Zarathustra um, speak to our modern world and speak to our modern condition. So again, something to look out for in 2023 for sure. Now the third course, Hegel's Science of Logic, which will start January 16, 2023, um, shifts our focus as a sort of philosophy portal mission from understanding the coming to be of a philosopher to understanding the standpoint of philosophical thought as such. That's the logic. And some of the major questions running through my mind as I'm preparing the course and as I'll be teaching the course throughout the year, some of the major questions that I'll be wrestling with this year include, how has Hegel's logic influenced the modern world? What separates Hegel's logic from pre-modern logic, ancient religion, mystical thought, and so forth? And how can Hegel's logic improve our approach to science today? Um, especially this last question is not only close to my heart, but also I think was central for Hegel's motivation in writing the science of logic. You know, um, recognizing that we live in a scientific era, recognizing that the zeitgeist of the time is scientific, but at the same time recognizing that logic had not been updated from its ancient foundations and that it needed sort of a scientific update, that it needed to also be included in, you know, as a revolution of spirit. And, you know, moving on from that as a final thought, my hope for the future of philosophy portal. Some of the questions that run through my head as I'm sort of thinking about how to develop philosophy portal is, you know, related to, I think, the basic motive of the phenomenology of spirit. So again, as a sort of foundation stone for the, for the idea of philosophy portal is what is the path to becoming a philosopher? You know, and how do I specifically as a, as a teacher, as a, as a leader, how do I help cultivate the next generation of philosophers and apply logic, you know, philosophical logic to the context of not just substance, but also subject and processes of becoming? How do I best participate in that larger, you know, process which transcends me? Um, and those are things that keep me up at night. <laughs> Quite literally, you know, there's very practical situations that keep me up at night that are a consequence of trying to build philosophy portal and a consequence of becoming involved in the lives of, of, of my students and, and my students getting involved in, 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 in sort of my, you know, courses and my development. And um, that's just sort of where I am. These are the questions that, uh, that I wrestle with. Um, and there will be future courses uh, beyond the science of logic. I do have plans to teach Lacan's Ecree, and I do have plans to teach Zizek's Lesson, Less Than Nothing. I have a whole YouTube series on Zizek's Less Than Nothing, and I absolutely can't wait. And I've also had a long engagement with Lacan's Ecree, even if I haven't published anything online about it. But um, these courses are courses that are in the works. They're behind the scenes, things I'm working on. 
and um, can't wait to teach these things. So most likely 2023, look out for not just the Science of Logic course starting in two weeks. Also, Lacan's Cree, Zizek's Less Than Nothing, a book on titled Abyssal Arrows, influenced by Thus Spoke Zarathustra. And who knows, hopefully more things as well. So a lot to look out for Philosophy Portal. Uh, it's been a busy year. It's been an incredibly fulfilling year. Um, nothing else more to say other than, yeah, I mean, it's a, it's a challenge, but it's also extremely fulfilling. And I've enjoyed doing it, and I can't wait to continue building it and seeing what it can become. So if you're interested in getting involved, philosophyportal.online. I think that the future of Philosophy Portal is, you know, basically here building out the foundations of modernist discourse, phenomenology, logic, existentialism, and... Um, hopefully some surprises along the way. <laughs> so thanks to everyone who's helped me this year. Uh, special shout out to so many fantastic students that have been a part of Philosophy Portal. I've had also so many friends helping, colleagues helping. Great conversations. Um, you know, those of you who have been a part of the channel, those of you who have been a part of my life know who you are. And again, um, Looking forward to the new year. Happy New Year to everyone. And um, happy holidays to all of, all of those who have been celebrating. All right. I'm out. <laughs>